Hello everyone and welcome back to Brooks Reader Bazaar. I hope you guys are all doing well. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about my updated skincare routine. Now I'm going to have this video right now which is going to be my AM routine and then I'm going to post a second video in just a couple more days and it'll be my nighttime routine. I will say as a spoiler alert they're not all that different. I use a lot of the same products both day and night but obviously the steps and just the way that I apply them might change a little bit. So for my AM skincare routine, it could not be more simple than it is. For starters, right when I wake up in the morning, I go into the bathroom and I assess the situation. If my skin is looking a little bit glisteny or like it kind of was sweaty or there seems to be some kind of like residue or film or sweat on it, then I will go ahead and rinse my face with cold water and then use a little bit of my tried and true, yes, I'm still using this stuff, um, Bioderma Sabium Gel Moussant Facial Cleanser. Now, I will not always wash my face in the morning because if it does feel extremely dry, I just skip that step and I go on to this next part. But most days I will say I go ahead and start with a cleanse. Just a simple cleanse is all you need. And then it's time to think of moisturizer and any active that you might want to use. So for me personally, I will, depending on the situation, either go straight into my moisturizing routine. So my moisturizing routine still has not changed. I will use a filtered water. Um, this is just filtered water in a bottle that I've had for a long time, which was the Disciple Balancing Mist, which actually also used to be fungal acne friendly. So as long as it still is, I will also link it below because it's good stuff. Um, and I will spray this all over my face until my face is like lightly dripping, looking very glistening and very wet. And then I will go in with my trusty the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid plus B5. And I will literally take this dropper out, you guys, and I will drop, I'm just gonna like example for you, one drop into the middle of my forehead right here between my eyes, one on this cheek, one on this cheek, and rub it all in very, very gently so that it kind of stays surfacey and then it dries down on its own. Now, right before it like has fully dried down, I will actually take the filtered water and I will mist my face all over again because this hyaluronic acid can hold a lot of water weight and that's the whole beauty of it. It's a humectant, so it's going to keep that water against your skin, which is therefore going to give you a plump, juicy, beautiful, youthful glow to your skin, which is what everybody really is after, at least that's what I'm after. So once I have done that, I will go ahead and admit to you, I do not always lock down that moisture. Sometimes I will just go ahead and go straight into my sunscreen. Um, this is the Polish Choice Youth Extending that I had been using and still loving. It's gone, but um, I am gonna do a new sunscreen video very soon so you guys can look forward to that where I've tried some new things as well. If I want to be a little bit extra, right before I put my sunscreen on, I will use a vitamin C booster and I will mix it in with my CeraVe lotion. And that way I get just a little bit extra of a glow, a little bit of extra skin benefit. And that combination is the Hylamide C25 Stabilized Vitamin C Booster. And I will mix a tiny, like one or two drops of it with just like a fingertips worth amount of the CeraVe. And I will just rub that into my face right before my sunscreen. Now, I really was loving this combination, but the CeraVe has gotten a little bit too intense for me to use over the summer. So I probably only do this like once a week, but in the cooler months, I'll do this every single morning again. All right, you guys, so that sums up everything that I have for you today for my morning skincare routine. I'm going to drop a nighttime skincare routine very soon, so be on the lookout for that. And it's a lot more complicated and involved, so I will let you guys see that when you see it. But until then, I hope you guys are all doing well. 
staying safe and healthy and having a good time in this year of 2020 that is a little bit crazy. Um, if you also love fashion, beauty, pop culture, and all the shiny things, you should press subscribe right now because I make new videos all the time that are related to those topics and I think you would really enjoy them. Um, if you did enjoy this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and then as always, if you guys have questions, leave them in the comments below and I will get chit-chatting with you. You guys will answer each other's questions. It's all very fun down there. Um, and I will see you guys, I guess, in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.